Are deadlifts bad for your back? Well, let's find out. Today, we're gonna to be doing a deep dive into the deadlift, specifically the barbell deadlifts. However, you can do this with a kettlebell or even a bodyweight version of this. So let's get into the deadlift form. First, you're gonna square up your feet, bend over, and grab the bar with a double overhand grip. Sometimes with heavy loads, people will use something called a cross grip. That's where you put one hand underneath and the other hand over. So it's not necessarily bad, but it does put the shoulders out of alignment a little bit. And if done over and over, the repetitive nature of a cross grip deadlift can certainly lead to imbalances and potentially even injuries in the body. Now, for any beginner, I'm gonna recommend that you start with light enough load that you can hold on with two overhand grip hands positioned down on the bar. Now, making sure that your elbow and knee are not in contact with each other. They should be wide enough so that your knees can pass straight through the elbows and now you're ready to lift up. Next, we gotta focus on your back and your spine, making sure that we're not rounded in the back and keeping a flat back. A neutral spine is the way we cue that. That'll be the best way to deadlift. Also making sure that our hips are not way high up in the air. Lower the hips down so you can use knee flexion and hip flexion. Pull your shoulders down and back. And then you're gonna have the nice squeeze on the bar and you'll be able to lift up for your first rep. The next part of the video is a little bit scratchy and windy. There's a fan and some basketballs going in the background. However, I am going to unmute the camera and let you hear what I have to say because I think it's very important. We're gonna be discussing breathing and breathing technique. So here we go. Breathing is very important when it comes to any exercise, really, but especially a compound movement, a multi-joint movement, one incorporating a load, like the amount of weight I have on this deadlift, very important to breathe properly and correctly. So I breathe in, as you noticed, right before I lifted. I held my core tight and I braced. The air was held inside and I lifted and I breathed the air out as soon as I got halfway up the lift. I let that air out. I was not holding my breath for an extended period of time. You certainly do not want to hold your breath on any exercise. One thing that can happen is you can get lightheaded, you can get dizzy, you can even faint from holding your breath during an exercise. So please, please do not hold your breath during any exercise. Now I'm gonna show you a couple reps in a row. I think I'm gonna show you eight reps of just what proper deadlifting form can look like. Also, if you gain some value from this video, please think about giving it a thumbs up. It really helped me out and it would take no effort from you. And seriously, think about subscribing because I upload videos all the time on this channel, multiple videos a week. Don't forget to have an amazing day. See ya. Thank you.